It looks like monkey royalty in a lovely duvet display. But in reality, our queen has been stepping out of the royal bounds. Lurking not too far away is a young and buff male, sneaking flirty glances from the shadows. While the monkey king is over 20, which is ancient in monkey years, he's even got an eye condition to show for it. Still, the younger male waits for his shot, and the monkey king is starting to catch on. After the king leaves, he hides away in an even more covert spot and continues to make goo goo eyes at the queen. Turns out, the king has had his eyes peeled all along. He's been hip to the jive. For years, he's affirmed his alpha status by rattling this big OL tree, intimidating any rebels. But as the king grows older, his subjects are less than shook. Unmoved by his displays, the younger male continues his sly signaling. Once she catches her suitor's call, the queen rushes off for a secret rendezvous. The king seems livid, but he's playing it cool. He's about to catch them red-handed. First, the king casually pretends to survey his domain. Once they deem it safe, they kick off their tryst. But the king, he's already tiptoed up right behind them. He teaches the unfaithful queen a lesson and re-establishes his ultimate authority. Yet, it's all wishful thinking on his part. The consorts of his harem all strive to maintain the illusion of harmony. They won't have to wait too long before the king hits his royal snoots and when the old guy dozes off, the young bucks will make their comeback drawn by their lover's call. The ladies sneak off for secret meetups pairing up in hidden nooks, keeping a watchful eye on the king's every move. The king may never know that next year's kids won't be his own blood and legacy. In their quest for mating rights, males can go to wild extremes and get pretty crafty, like going undercover, deceiving rivals while wooing the ladies. Sometimes, they even pull off a drag act to confuse the competition and seduce the females by their side down in southern Australia, home to some of the biggest squids around. These studly squids live fast and die young, with only one breeding season to their name. For the chance at love, they're literally dying to do battle, turning love into war. But on the verge of battle, a scrappy little male squid watches from a safe distance, like real safe. These behemoths are twice his size, going head to head, suicide mission. No thank you. He doesn't stand a chance in direct combat. As war breaks out, the males change to a deep maroon aggression mode. Their color changing cells underneath can switch hues in a flash, showing off patterns faster than a mood ring. These battles for a mate are a 20 minute test of brute strength. The losers scoot away, lick their wounds, while the victors keep on scrapping. For the sake of survival, the defeated make a smoky getaway, Squid Ink style. These epic battles let the females pick the biggest, baddest partner available, and the last squid standing gets the prize. A dainty dame with short tentacles and a complexion as white as Squid Ink. But he's still on the lookout for competition. His eyes, sharp as a hawk's, miss nothing. He's ready to spot a challenger from miles away. And now, the cunning spectator squid takes the stage. It's his time to shine. He knows he isn't the beefiest. His slim figure just won't cut it. A brawl would only leave him bruised and battered. So he's going for a craftier approach. First off, he memorizes every curve on the lady squid. Next, he subtly shifts his own hue to a lighter shade. And finally, he tucks in his lengthy arms, pulling off a darn convincing imitation of a female swim, all set and ready to crush the party. He swims boldly towards his prize. Next up, he's gonna sweet talk the big guy, 
While cozying up to the lady on the sly, any slip could mean his last swim. The champ of the duel seems to welcome the newcomer, fooled the alpha male, sure, but not the real deal lady. She's well aware of his game and eager to play. And so, they hit it off in secret. When Macho Champ finally catches on, they've already cooked the rice. It's done, caught in the act. He's detangled up to chase them. What other squids would kill for? Other squids might kill for a chance at love, but our clever fella cross-dressed his way right into an easy score in the quest to pass on their genes. Animals always come up with unexpected breeding stratagems, but brute strength isn't the only thing that gets their genes in the paw. Mother Nature has a soft spot for those who can play the game. Only the wise ones who apply smarts over sheer power keep standing tall in nature's relentless selection cycle.